Hi, I want to make a quick and brief video, I hope, <laughs> on the idea of um, the nothing of addition. And this idea is just adding things to a, a repertoire that you have, say, such as your ego satisfaction and gratification, um, adding things to your list and only to add something else to your list later, just a redundant process of just adding things to your list to reach in a list which leads to nothing, leading to your inevitable demise, leading to nothing in the end. And it leads to nothing in the end because you die, but in the end, what does it mean anyway, even if you didn't die? Even if you didn't die, what would, what, what, what would the satisfaction you have from this desire or this, this, this addiction that you have, this obsession that you have in existing based on the mechanism causing you to exist, what would that mean anything in the end? What would that cause? What would it accomplish even if you didn't die, even if there was an end? The end is what gives it meaning, but the end is also the thing that, sat, that makes it... Um, the, the end is the only thing that make, gives it meaning, but it also brings an end to the thing that had any meaning to begin with. So it gives it meaning, but once you die, there is no meaning to the things that you had, the projection that you had. So the projection that you had no longer exists. and But the thing that you had still exists, but the projection that you had to have to give it any meaning no longer exists. But say that you did it, uh, say live forever, what would the satisfaction mean in the end? Because the death is the thing that made it have, made it have meaning, but once you die, it doesn't have any meaning anymore. The, the projection, the interaction that you had uh, with an ego gratification, the satisfaction, whatever it may have been, no longer exists. At least in the same way that it existed before. There's no psychology, there's no sentience, there's no cognitive function working in the same way or working at all. You know, almost in a way using as if you were a vegetable. You're no longer alive, but you're still functioning as a as a being that's existing. Um, so, yes, I'm just adding these things redundantly, run redundantly to a list that you have. It's just feeding the same mechanism. You're adding something on top of a um, on top of on top one thing on top of the other, and you're just adding something to another. Uh, you're just adding to the same redundant list over and over again, and you're doing nothing more than adding things um, to a rickety tower that's ready to fall anyway. It's it's the more you add, the more you add. Obviously, based on things such as psychology, the more things you add, the more um, the more almost in a way it speaks to the fact that you're getting closer to some kind of end. The more that you satisfy something, the more that you've longer you've existed. The more things you have on a list. Uh, the addition of adding things to a list, the more likely you're closer to some kind of end because that's the same function that works into this reality is you add these things to a list and obviously the thing that gives that list any value is um, is it is some kind of end and obviously that's an easy concept to grasp is understanding that the end gives some kind of meaning to the things that happen before the end. Um, these are pointless videos. Um, just going over very vague concepts, I guess. Um, so you're just you're just facilitating um, the same old addiction, this addition that you keep adding to the same function, um, the same. You're just adding things to your um, a list or whatever it may be. The existence, everything, little thing you do, you're adding to your list, whatever of lists you have in your existence. Writing down a grocery list or writing down some kind of list of errands you have to do to, uh, the, the current day. Dissatisfying the same old list desire just to do the redundant same list to it leading to another end leading to another end redundantly it goes back to the same old um, and it's the point the meaninglessness is created from the not necessarily meaninglessness it's the redundancy that creates the so-called pointlessness that you recognize in reality because it's just the same in reality because it's just the same thing over and over again and you're doing nothing but to satisfy the same desire by living off the desire that led you to that same desire so you eat only to satisfy long enough to eat again to satisfy long enough to eat again and you, you start recognizing the function and it, when that you start recognizing the function you start seeing the redundancy and how it just leads to the same process over redundant process over and over again and you add these things to your redundant list and almost you create an expectation out of these lists and understanding um, that you're not disappointed when something happens so when you it's about maintaining and that's exactly what we're a way to describe the situation is maintaining as much of what you have as you can and it's all about mitigating against the negative as opposed to getting the satisfaction you want out of some kind of um, desire you have or some kind of uh, desire mechanism that you're trying to satisfy and it's more about mitigating against the possible negatives than the um, propel yourself towards the possible positives that you can experience or the non-negatives that you are that some relative position uh, that's higher based on the current position you are in or your default position and it's about avoiding the negatives as much as you can uh, as more than you can satisfy the positives and that's back to the idea of maintaining um, as small of a range of sensation as possible if anything to live by that's a good thing to live by is maintain as 
if you have to get as much gratification to get as uh, to get as much negative to get to as much gratification, it's better just to live a uh, medial life than to go through all sorts of great negatives just to get the satisfaction. You want all the great positives because the negatives that you go through are all, more often than not longer, and obviously all you're doing in a way is leading up to the point of trying to compensate for the negative that you went through, but you're not going to necessarily compensate fully for the negative. You're going to satisfy it and go right back to pulling the same spring that you were before. And you're, you're just going to try your best to pull the spring again. You're going to be satisfying the same redundant desire, going through the same negative experience just to get the desire satisfied, chasing the same tail over and over again, and you're not going to be doing the same thing, having the same things chasing you and the same things. You're trying to look through the things, but the serial killer is after you, and you're trying to satisfy your, um, your shopping list, but the serial killer is after you, and I think you'd avoid the serial killer that wants to torture you, whatever contrived example you want to use in describing a situation like this. Um, obviously, the contrived examples can are kind of open in describing a situation like this. But it's about getting what you want as opposed to avoiding some greater negative. You're trying to avoid something that's great and just to satisfy something, just have enough more, just to, it's in a way just to have enough more, a little more time to, to go shopping as opposed to, it wouldn't mean anything if the serial killer catches up to you and he catches you, your, your shopping's not going to mean anything. And in the end, it doesn't mean much of anything because you're just going to satisfy desire just to satisfy desire to, uh, again, and that's existing. You're existing long enough. You don't you don't want to die, but you want to ex you 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 don't want to die, and you want to live long enough, just so you can uh, you can just you can die again. You can die later or something like that. And you're trying to avoid it. Doesn't mean anything if they catch up to you. And also you're just you're just gonna you're living long enough to satisfy a desire to satisfy some other desire later. But that's the thing that gives it some kind of meaning. Is yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so you're just facilitating the same old redundant process over and over again when you're satisfying these desires. You're adding another thing to the rickety, um, rickety tower that you keep adding things to. Um, and that's what you're doing. You're just adding things to another redundant list and hoping your best that things don't go um, awry when you're adding to these things to your list and hopefully not being disappointed when your list isn't being satisfied because the only thing that can happen when you're making this list is the dissatisfaction from the incompletion of this list and that's anything the thing that you're trying to avoid and you're adding something to a list but you're adding something to an end that you an end you've already reached the negative end you know where the negative end exists you're, you're going from zero you're trying to go up and the up is never going to end you're going to keep trying to satisfy the up list that you're trying to satisfy it's the same old redundant thing over and over again just to propel the same mechanism of adding something else to the list so you add things to the list just to add things more to the list but the list that you the end that you're trying to reach in the list um can can You've already recognized the, the end, the zero, the, where you came from. Say, adding things to a list, whatever it may be, a grocery list, whatever it may be of things that you want to say satisfy in your life or whatever it may be. Um, you know where the negative end exists and the positive end exists when, where. You haven't come up with a date even if you have. Um, you have to have some kind of list that's going to keep propelling you somewhere. And the end unknown to you or whatever it may be, um, even if it is an unknown, it's contrived. It's going to be something that reaches an end contrived or it's going to be, um, it's going to be, what's the word, what's the word? Um, it's going to be contrived, and it's going to be, you're going to, you're going to have an, you're going to have an end, but you're, you, the end is um, based on, okay, the point I'm trying to make is, there's a beginning, and you know where that beginning came from, and you're only redundantly adding to the list just to add more to the list, to satisfy some kind of desire, but even if you reach the end of a list, you're going to be find, trying to find some other list that you can satisfy in the end. Um, so you're, you're going to keep add, adding things to a list, and the list of lists you're trying to add things to, and you're never going to reach an end until you die. And even though we're going to die, um, that's the end that creates for us. Um, but we're still satisfying that thing even when we're existing, because we have to satisfy that thing based on our very own existence, proving that we've been satisfying lists and doing these things to move forward in this redundant process adding to the same thing over and over again and that's exactly what we're doing and we know exactly where we're coming from and satisfying the list can never be satisfied completely unless it's ended for us say non-existing um, or even if you want to die you're still, try you're still trying to satisfy some list there was some kind of list you're still trying to satisfy and the status if that makes any sense and you're still trying to satisfy that list um, but you know where the negative came from. You're trying to mitigate against not having those lists, that list satisfied. And you're trying your best to make sure that list is satisfied, but that list end never really exists. 
um, and you know exactly where you came from, that's a rock solid end. And there can be an end, and you can contrive an ending, and that's where the idea of non-infinite comes from. There's no real infinite. You can reach some kind of contrived ending. Um, but it's... If I, I, I'm just trying to make sense of this idea, because I'm going off the cuff again. Um, so yeah, it's understanding the, this kind of um, contrivance of endings and beginnings and things like that.